Hi, I'm Paolo Lopez, the country director of Adra India. And today I want to take a moment to talk to you about India. India is indeed a country where we can see more than anywhere else in the world the contrast, the divide between the rich and the poor. Though the media these days focus more on the new economic power that is India, this sends a message to the general public that unfortunately does not reflect, does not represent the majority of the population. Two thirds of India's 1.1 billion people live close to or below the poverty line. These people don't have ready access to clean water, education, safe and suitable habitation, affordable health care, employment, and business opportunities, and many other benefits of a civil society that only the minority of the middle and upper class of society have. If these issues continue to be overlooked by the media in general, by the India's wealthy minority, and by the international community at large, more than 700 million people in this country will be overlooked and forgotten. For these reasons, as well as for many other reasons, Adra India exists. As you learn more about who we are and what we do, I hope this experience will touch your heart in such a way that you also will be willing to join hands with us to make India a better place for all. Health has been Adra India's second largest program in 2007. With a population more than 1.1 billion, India faces some unique challenges when it comes to public health. Tuberculosis alone kills over 400,000 people each year. So we are working on strengthening community level detection and treatment through DOTS, the internationally recommended TB control strategy. Despite much effort, India is one of only four countries left in the world where polio is still endemic. As such, ADRA has spent its seventh year fighting for the eradication of polio by supporting children and their communities in receiving their full course of vaccinations against the disease. Maternal health poses a threat to hundreds of thousands of mothers and newborn babies each year, which is why ADRA has partnered with the hospital to improve the antenatal care by increasing the number of births that receive the assistance of health professionals. ADRA is also working to contribute towards the Millennium Development Goal number 6, combat HIV AIDS, malaria and other diseases, of increasing the proportion of population in malaria risk areas using effective malaria prevention and treatment measures through providing malaria safe nets to communities living in malaria prone zones. India has traditionally been vulnerable to natural disasters on account of its unique geoclimatic conditions. Floods, droughts, cyclones, earthquakes, and landslides have been recurrent phenomena, which is why ADRA India is actively involved in providing assistance to communities within 24 hours of a disaster striking. The year 2007 marked the development of our National Emergency Preparedness and Response Plan, which was established to provide a clear plan of action in the event of a major disaster. ADRO India responds to any disaster in any area at any point of time in India if our capacity permits. We provide our relief assistance to any region in the country in the specific provision of shelter, drinking water, food and non-food items. This year, ADRA has provided assistance to communities affected by the floods in West Bengal and the overwhelming floods in Bihar with relief materials such as 
food items, intermediate temporary shelters, drinking water, water and sanitation facilities, hygiene supplies, education and training. India is emerging as a major economic power as it has gone from producing simple exports to becoming a world leader in software and technology exports. However, as the world's second most populous country, it is facing enormous challenges such as the wide gap between its urban and rural population, the growing unemployment and the fact that a quarter of India's population, that is more than 250 million people, still live below the poverty line. The Millennium Development Goal number one aims to eradicate extreme hunger and poverty by having the proportion of people whose income is less than one dollar a day. At ADRA India, we believe that having a sustainable livelihood has the potential to address and prevent many development issues, starting with poverty. This is why our work of combining resources with the energy and resourcefulness of communities has the power to transform thousands of families in India. We are doing this by providing agricultural support to rural rice farmers through the system of rice intensification, by providing livestock assistance such as goat banks and the innovative EMU banks, as well as others that work towards a sustainable future. The conflict between the Sri Lankan government and the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, LTTE, which started in Sri Lanka in 1983, has forced approximately 278,400 refugees to cross the sea border and seek asylum in India. As the fighting intensified in 2006, more than 20,000 additional refugees fled to India. ADRA India is working with the Sri Lankan refugees who are temporarily living in camps throughout the southern state of Tamil Nadu. ADRA acknowledges that the life for a refugee is complex and multifaceted and that no amount of assistance provided to families currently living in the refugees camps can offer a permanent solution to their circumstances. However, the vision of ADRA India's refugee program is to uphold the value and human rights of every individual child, woman and man by reducing the burden of some of the practical daily pressures they face and improving their basic facilities and services. We are currently providing access to clean water, sanitation, hygiene and health, solid waste management, improved shelter conditions and livelihood opportunities such as livestock rearing. We are committed to supporting the Sri Lankan refugees as long as the political situation prevents them from returning to their homeland.